If you see something, say something. That's been the mantra in this age of terror. But a troubling story out of Texas has many wondering whether the lines of vigilance and caution weren't somehow terribly twisted, leaving a Muslim high school student handcuffed and humiliated over an innocent science project. NBC's Janet Shamlian with a story that's touched off a national conversation. These are, these are micro -siders. A high school freshman who dreams of being an inventor, 14-year-old Ahmed Mohammed took his homemade digital clock to show his new engineering teacher. I took it to school to show my teachers the talent that I had. I want to show them. And in my perspective, it didn't look like a bomb. But several teachers at MacArthur High in Irving, Texas, thought that's exactly what it looked like. Police were called. The Muslim student was handcuffed in the hallway, his sister tweeting this photo, later fingerprinted and questioned. I just brought something to school that wasn't a threat to anyone. It didn't do anything wrong. I just showed my teacher something, and I ended up getting arrested. The incident lit up the Internet. The hashtag, I stand with Ahmed, trending worldwide. Social media flooded with photos of clocks in a show of solidarity. Mark Zuckerberg posting, if you ever want to come by Facebook, I'd love to meet you. Even President Obama, who issued this invitation, cool clock, Ahmed, want to bring it to the White House? They went after this young man and, and treated him like a terrorist. And we know what people think terrorists are, that, that they associate that with people who are Muslim. Tonight, school officials are defending their actions. We were doing everything with an abundance of caution to protect all of our students. And police are denying that a non-Muslim student would have been treated any differently. Our reaction would have been the same either way. That's a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to school. Authorities say the ninth grader won't face charges. Still suspended until Thursday, Ahmed says he's planning to transfer schools. Janet Shamlian, NBC News. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.